What's up guys, today we're checking out the Jay Weinberg drum library from Mixwave. If you want your drums to sound like Slipknot, or just really f good, look no further, this is the plugin for you. You can use it standalone or as a plugin inside your recording software if you want. For myself, I'm mostly going to be using this with my electronic drum pads, but you can also use it if you're a guitarist and you want to program some drums to jam along to or even put on your album. So here it is, this is what the kit looks like. Oh yeah. I have it open via Contact Player, which is a free sampling plugin. This was actually my first time using Contact, how about that? But this screen here is the main kit view, and this shows every drum and cymbal on the kit, and you can click on them to hear what they sound like. Sex. And some of these have multiple options for the sounds if you click on the little arrow next to the drum. So for the snare drum, you can see we have, what is that, nine different snare sounds to choose from. Nice. Let's check it out. Wow. Oh, okay, that was the high-tuned version. Let's try the regular-tuned version. What else we got here? The Goliath snare. Uh-oh. JW. Acid Patina snare. Acid Bahi. Oh. That's a fat one. Titanic snare. <laughs> Liquid death snare. Wow, that liquid death snare is sick. Might as well crack one open. <laughs> All right, for the bass drums, looks like we have five options each. Two different size kick drums and some different beater options as well, nice. Let's try the felt beaters. I like how they're, uh, they're tuned slightly differently as well. Wood beater. All right, and let's try the 22 by 20. 20! Plastic beater. Sounds so mighty. And let's try the felt. I don't know what it is, man. These sounds are just, they're really, really fun to play with. Fucking Slipknot, bruh! And for the cymbals, I believe these are mostly the same cymbals that he uses on his kit. Two hi-hats, all right. Fucking sick. So let's click on the little button next to default kit here, and holy crap, looks like there are 24 preset kits on here. And it looks like there's no boost and also unmixed versions of most of these. Pretty good if you want to apply your own mixing to the samples. But personally, I, I love that it's already mixed. Saves me a lot of time and it, it already sounds amazing. No need to mess with it. Oh yeah, one thing I want to point out before we get to the mixer page, if you've never used contact before, just like me, you need to make sure you have the correct MIDI output selected or else you're not going to get any sounds when you hit your pads or MIDI keyboard or whatever. Go to the little I button here next to the camera, click on that, then go to MIDI channel, select Omni, and this is the setting that works for most users. Yeah. Wait, what's this dog over here? Is that Jay's dog? 
I love it. Onto the mixer page, this shows the individual channels for each microphone that they used when they recorded these samples. Kick one, kick two, snare, rack toms, blah, blah, blah. If you click on mixer two, this is just like the second page of it. You got the floor tom and then you have all the cymbal mics. Top row has panning knobs. This is where you can, you know, change like left and right speaker, the, the listening perspective. I usually like to play around with these and make sure the toms are evenly spread out throughout the mix and, you know, make it sound like you're actually sitting behind the kit. But luckily, most of the presets in here already have everything pre-panned, so you're good to go. Looks like you can also turn off the compression and EQ for the master track. There's also a tape simulator. There's also this LR button on top of the master track. This is where you can change the perspective to audience perspective instead of drummer's perspective. It pretty much just like reverses all the panning for everything. What do we got down here? Snare effects and tom reverb. Let's mess with these a little bit. Whoa. That's almost like, uh, dare I say, the St. Anger snare. How about the Tom reverb? Turn it all the way off. And crank it all the way up! I was not expecting that. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to show you. There's the tune button up here. Let's just get ridiculous, because you can change the tuning of the entire kit. All right, so here's regular tuning. Let's go really low. Oh, you know, let's go halfway. Let's go, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to what? That's only halfway down. That sounds like an explosion from uh, 22 kilometers away. Do we dare go even lower? Dude, that sounds like a war. All right, let's go to 11. Okay, let's move on to the settings page. This is where you can see all the MIDI mapping for all the drums and the cymbals. I think there's even, uh, yep, there's more on the next page. Basically, this is where you tell the software which sounds to play based on which pads you're hitting. There's default mapping in here, of course, already, but if for some reason any drum is playing the wrong sound or if you wanna change something, it's very, very easy. You just click the little button next to the note and then you strike the pad that you want to play that note and it just learns it automatically. So let's say, for example, maybe I want to skip this third rack tom here and just go right to the first floor tom with my third rack tom. So go to MIDI mapping, floor tom one, hit the learn button, and if I want to go back to using that as a rack tom, just relearn it again. So now we have, right? Easy peasy. And we are not done yet. You can also adjust the velocity curve for each drum, for, for each sound really. Click the little slash button next to each name and then you can, you can literally just make your own curve right there. And if you don't know what velocity curve is, go watch my electronic drum module settings explained video. Bless. I think that's pretty much it though. So what do you say we have some more fun here play around with some more of these kits. Let's play a little Name That Drum Beat, yeah?
Well then, you don't have to take it from me. You can hear for yourself just how good this sample pack is. Holy shit. I'm probably gonna utilize this for a bunch of things I'm doing. Maybe I'll even start using it on the live streams. Yeah. Link in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. And, uh, sex. <laughs>